Hi, I'm Ying Chu, Mary Claire's Beauty Director. Have you ever wondered how to take one of those really graphic runway looks and make them wearable? I'm down at the MAC Pro Store in Manhattan where MAC senior artist Luke Bouchard is going to show us how to do exactly that. So today we're going to be doing uh, the Giambattista Valley look. However, we'll do a version that's a lot softer, that's more wearable, that you can come out and nobody will scream at you or anything. This is a primer. It's really important to have like a very perfected skin since the only thing that's going to be happening is your liner. I'm applying a little bit of the face protect. It smooths out the skin. It illuminates the center of the face. I'm using Sculp foundation with the same brush that I used to put the moisturizer on so that I have a little bit of that moisturizer mixed into the foundation. It has optical diffusers. It's kind of photoshopping in reality. This is brush 188. If you use that in circular motion, you can get an even coverage really quickly. Just a little bit close your eyes on the lids. Set your foundation a little bit. Prep and Prime Powder is probably the best choice for that because it's transparent. And I'll just do a little bit of concealer. Most of the time when you put it on top of the foundation, you use less so it looks more natural. Next step maybe we'll put a little bit of mid-tone sepia. Have a strong mark like this just to tell us where we want it. Then we can use the foundation brush that we had earlier and just soften it. So the liner for this show was very interesting. What I'm going to do at first is kind of mark how thick I want my line. It's going to be thinner on the inside. I'm using an angle brush with a product called Dip Down. We're just going to extend the line and make it a bit of a triangular shape. Now once that's done, this is fluid line. Fluid line stays really well. Will make the liner very resistant. You can use coffee pencil, teddy pencil, which are browns. And I'll draw a line basically and blend it. 224 is a great brush because it's a pointy brush that will help you go in the crease very easily. Just a little shadow is basically what it's doing. And we have this great thing that's called Oat and Naughty Lash. It has two wiper system, so you can do the first part with a very natural finish to it. I want uh, the heaviness to be on the top. So when you take this part out, there's a lot of mascara that stays, so that way you can like build up. This is uh, Till Tomorrow, and it's a prolong wear, so it stays on really well. And that's basically it. It could be something for the night, or it could be just a day look, fresh look with a nice little ponytail there. Shelton, you look so beautiful. 